Well, these all seem to be the same length. And uh, I'm not going to make the mistake of gluing everything in permanent like I did uh, 30 years ago when I made that other bunch of gears. In case I have to take it apart. Okay, now you remember we index this. A little mark there goes with this one here. That means that this one has to go in there. There's likely a more scientific way of doing this, but I don't know what it is. Oh, I forgot the bearings. Now, how am I going to keep those on there? There we go. I'm not as dumb as I look. Okay, now we'll find our little mark again. And there it is, and there it is. Okay, I think it's all the way through right down to the tabletop here. Yep. And like I say, I'm not going to glue it up until afterwards. Now, somebody's going to say, hey Ron, you forgot about the uh, little uh, tubes, the rubber tubing to, to space them. Well, I don't know exactly where I'm going to want these bearings. Uh, you know, so what I'm going to do is I'm thinking of splitting the tube. You know, I should try that and see if that's going to even work. It might not work. Okay, here again. I haven't tried this. I'm going to get a piece of scrap wood here. I don't want to mark this up any worse than it already is. This is turning out to be harder than I thought it would be. There's got to be another way. Okay, I finally got it, as I say, off camera. All right. Now, what would happen if I tried to slip that on here? Yeah, that would work. I don't think that'll come off at all. Okay, I know it works. And this will just keep it from falling out. And the same on the other side. Now the anchor we already balanced that probably what two or three months ago. I know you can't see it from your angle, but the the weights, the counterweights in the back here, they were to uh, be able to adjust the, the balance so that it, no matter which way you turned it, it stayed that way. I want to be able to do that with this wheel as well, and to a certain extent with the big wheel. 
This one's not as important, but this one is. But I'm going to wait until I get closer to, uh, you know, final assembly before I do that. Uh, in the meantime, I wanted to think about how I'm going to make the frame or the, or the stand that this is going to go into and the big dial ring is going to fasten onto. Um, I kind of know how I want to do it, but I want to think about it for a while. And I think while I'm doing that, I'm going to work on the salt and pepper shakers. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the way I operate. I, I'm always thinking about the next project while I'm working on the last one. Like, well, over the last month I've been thinking about my next big clock and I've got an idea for a very unique escapement. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it sometime. It uh, won't be as complicated as this, uh, but in some ways it'll be even more complicated, but I think it'll work. Anyway, that's uh, I'm, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. So uh, tomorrow we'll be working on the salt and pepper shaker. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.